But once we get past this cooler day today, yeah. we need something refreshing because it's heating up otherwise. Yeah, well, and I'll tell you something that's definitely refreshing. It's Carly Jurek <laughs> who's here this morning talking about something that smells really good. Yes. So Let's we, find out what. <laughs> so like Rebecca said, we have a quinoa salad here that's been marinating in a little bit of a balsamic vinegar overnight. So serve it cold, so nice and refreshing during mm -hmm. May while the temperatures are warming mm -hmm. up. And we're doing color your basket, so in May we're doing orange. So we have these beautiful apricots over here. Oh, okay. And one of my favorite parts about May is that summer's almost here, and that means that stone fruits are going to start hitting season. Yeah. So you have things like these beautiful cherries. Yes. These are now in our stores, and they are delicious to yeah. die for right now. Um, but stone fruits are pretty much any fruit with a pit in it. Oh, okay. Okay. So we Didn't have it was. these cherries, and on top of the salad, mm. we have some feta and pistachios already added on there. Yeah, the feta got my attention. <laughs> And then these cherries are so good for you. They're actually listed on the top 20 foods for antioxidant capacity. Perfect. And the red color that you see of cherries, that's anthocyanins. And that's what gives it that really, really vibrant red color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're very good for you. And they're also very good if you're having problems going to sleep or you need a little extra help going to sleep. They're very high in what's called melatonin, which yeah. helps regulate your sleep patterns. Cool. Yeah. Which we definitely need. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to dig in. You ready, John? Yes. Okay. So what about the benefits of I, I hate to even say it this way, quinoa. <laughs> what, quinoa. What's good about quinoa? <laughs> well, so quinoa is a great option. It's very similar to rice. You cook it exactly like rice, but it's higher in protein. It's what we call a complete protein. So it has all the essential amino acids in it, and it's also mm -hmm. very high in B vitamins. So it's a great option if you want to have a starch with your meal yep. um, to get in a little extra protein. It has a little bit of a zing to it, too. Yes, so there's, the mint? there's mint in there. Oh, okay. There's also some shallot, some orange juice, and apple cider vinegar with olive oh, oil. And it's all wow. mixed together, and it's been marinating in that quinoa overnight. This really yeah, is good. just a perfect spring salad. Yes, yes it's I feel wonderful. Like you can, if you eat enough of it, it can be a meal, but otherwise yeah. it's perfect. Yes, and yeah. like I said, it's super refreshing during those hot temperatures. Mm -hmm. You said it's going to cool down just for a little bit. Yeah, no, you're going to want the, yes. the quinoa. Yes, so this is a great yeah. option. I'm proud of you for saying uh, it like it, that. It just it hurts on my insides <laughs> every time. But also the apricots, I usually just see dried apricots. Right. They're great yeah, fresh. Yeah. So. Yes, and being a dietitian, sometimes I'm always looking for a little bit more creative ways of, mm -hmm. uh, instead of just grabbing an apricot and eating it on the go, this is a fun, unique way to use cherries and apricots instead of just grabbing them yep. and eating them as a snack. Cool. Perfect. All right. Well, Carly, thank you so much for our refreshing <laughs> salad today. <laughs> and if you'd like to be here on Good Day, go ahead and contact us. Know of a community event or news story.